might be the world's most confusing puzzle, or I'm just not very smart. Probably the not very smart one. Hello everybody, I'm Kyla Key and welcome to Puzzle Fuzzle, which is an awesome title for a game and is very fun to say. Puzzle Fuzzle. We have to make the moon out of a balloon and some cheese. And there you go. The, but not the whole cheese, just the spots from the cheese. You kind of get an idea of how this game works. It's very clever. And there are 387 puzzles. Holy moly. Create a metal. Okay, if we take the, like, the collar of this shirt, that's your ribbon, and then you take the, uh, the, the center of the, the sun, and there's your metal. I'm a genius. Am I actually a genius? No. That was just actually super easy but I suspect they're gonna get a lot harder. And I'm scared. A pirate hat? Okay, I see you. The little bush behind the plants is the shape of a pirate hat. And of course you need a skull and crossbow. And then it's officially a green pirate hat. Ice cream. What? Oh, can I rotate stuff? Because I feel like the octopus is the shape of an ice cream. Okay, he totally is. And then we have like this cone shape. But oh yeah, yep, you can definitely rotate stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's starting to get more complicated. Of course it is. They're adding new mechanics. So now we need to look at things in a completely different way. You gotta turn them and rotate them. This kid's hair is straight up french fries. That's awesome. Probably still shouldn't eat it. So let's take his french fry hair. And then this is, this is straight up a McDonald's carton, right? And then you just turn that thing upside down and there you go. Look at me. Genius level plays. My brain feels like it's growing on the spot. It's incredible. Um, okay. It's a shooting star. So we definitely have a star, right? Like that's, that's a giveaway. Um, oh, I see. Okay. So the flag is definitely like the, the shooting part. Do I just put them together or maybe? No, no, I think if I do something like that and then put those two together, there you go. That's beautiful. Some might even call it majestic. I don't know why I said it like that. A pumpkin. Okay, no, I see you. Okay, yeah, I was like, okay, I see this part, right? Like this is very straightforward. That is the shape of a pumpkin, also the color of a pumpkin, but where's the stem? It's the handle of the knife. I'm a genius. I'm not. That was actually, that one was really easy. A feather pen. Well, I mean, there's already a pen as one of our options, so that, that makes it pretty easy. I think we just need to take the, the tip of the pen, and then we just add the feather from the hat to the back of the pen. And, and once again, proving my insane IQ, and by insane, I mean insanely low, Beating puzzles that are very easy. Pizza! Um, it's the coin is like the base of the pizza, but I just need, <laughs> I just need the back part of the coin. I don't need any of these emblems and whatnot. And then you got all your toppings, which are balloons on a house. There you go. Hey, pizza time. Would I eat it? Mm, probably not. Yeah, who am I kidding? Pizza's pizza. I'll eat it. Even if the toppings are made of Balloons. Fishbowl. Well, we have a fish. That's a that's a strong start. Every fishbowl needs a fish. Actually, that's probably not true. You can have a fishbowl with no fish in it. People might start asking questions because like it's weird, but you can do it. I see what I need to do. The the snow globe here. And no, I don't need the tree. I need the snow globe, and then I need to turn this the other way around, and there look at that. Look at that play right there. So far, so good. I haven't embarrassed myself too much, but I think you guys could probably agree these these puzzles have been pretty easy so far. I expect they're gonna get harder and I might need some help. But for now, no help needed. We do need to make an eye. What the heck is that? Is that supposed to be a pillow? Okay, <laughs> there you go. And then maybe the center of the record here is the eye. That's a red eyeball though. That is freaky, man. I don't, oh, okay, wait, no, here you go. That's less freaky. It's still freaky, but definitely less freaky. Just staring at me. Stop looking at me, man. It's weird. Diamond ring. I see the diamond. Easy play. 
And then maybe just like the outside of the magnifying glass? Dude. Come on, game. You do better than that. I should not be taunting the game. You know it's going to throw something at me that's going to completely stump me. A fan. Like, what What? What do you mean? Like, the... I mean, we got the, the fan blades. And then something in this Ferris wheel is, is something that I need. Oh, just like that? The... <laughs> There you go. We're taking everyday objects and turning them into other everyday objects. A donut. That dude's beard is 100% made of chocolate glaze, which is disgusting when you think about it. And then the inner tube, okay, you got donut right there. And then th this, is your, this is your chocolate glaze, but it's upside down. We need to rotate it. Look at that. Just try not to think about where that was. It's possible that that chocolate glaze is made out of human hair from a dude's face. Next, please, a light bulb. Okay, what makes a light bulb a light bulb? You got the bulb part. There's, okay, part one. Um, And then do you need like the, the filament? Or no, you know what? Just the, the cap of the bottle is the bottom of the light bulb. There you go. It didn't need to be that fancy. I wonder if they're going to start making us use more than two parts. They probably are, right? Hot air balloon. It's the submarine. But obviously, we need to rotate this thing. And then... <laughs> I think I see... Okay. Um, the flower pot. But we need the stems of the flowers to come with it. So let's see if that works. There you go. Look at that. I love it. All right. So this is a special level. I'm not sure what makes it... Technically special, but we do need to make a coat hanger. So I think wait. Oh, you know what? I think that there's three parts to this Yeah, and then and then okay, so you're you're good and then I need you Wait, no. Well if I if I just put you two together. Oh, okay, and then we need the stick here Oh, come on, come on. There. Yeah, yeah, it, it, no, no, no. I need to pick you up. I need to pick you up. Thank you and boom, there you go. We made a coat hanger. So that is what made that one special. Needed three parts. Magnifier. We take one of the lenses. Oh, wait, what? No, I need this lens. Okay, yeah. And then the handle from the spatula. Genius. Okay, there you go. Easy mode. Popcorn. Popcorn? How do I turn what we're looking at into popcorn? Do we use these little, like... No, not those. This. That's the popcorn. That is the actual substance. Now we need the container. I think maybe the back of this chair? Yep, yeah, there it is. Going to the movies. A paint bucket? Huh? I see the bucket. It's on the dude's head. But it obviously needs to be turned the other way. Okay, there you go. And then uh, I guess the paint is maybe the icing on this cake. Is that the idea? Yes, it is. That was clever. But I'm on to you, game. A traffic cone. All right, you got the cone hat. And then just the base is the is this right here? The book? Look at that. I'm blasting through these puzzles now. My brain is on full gas. Like, you know, like, pedal to the metal. My brain is going. Or that might be the, the chili that I ate yesterday. Can't really tell. Magnet. Okay, so so the magnet has the red and the blue side, right? Oh, and then the arch. The, the yes, okay. I got you. Oh, it turned it the other way. Well, it works both ways, so doesn't really matter. Although I think the game expected me to rotate it. Whatever. A money bag. Just a happy little doll guy, but he is kind of shaped like a bag that you need to turn upside down. There you go. And then we got dollar signs. Cha-ching! Toaster. <laughs> that suitcase might actually be a toaster already. That is very toaster-esque. It's a weird shape for a suitcase. And why do you have the little thing that you, you know, you're on the side of the toaster to... I guess that was supposed to be a zipper, but I mean, come on. And then this mitten is actually made out of bread. Which I suspect is not very effective at keeping your hands warm. I don't know. Maybe we should start walking around with mittens made out of bread. A mushroom. 
mushroom. Okay, I see the top of the mushroom. You got the little hat. And then, okay, is it the body of the penguin? <laughs> That is the stem? Oh my gosh, it totally is. Wait, wait, there's more to this. This is a three piece. Okay, okay. Uh, it's the dots. Of course. It's not truly a mushroom until it has the little dots on it. I feel bad for that penguin though. He, he doesn't have a body anymore. Meat. What is up with this shirt? Like, this is such a weird shirt design. It's obviously this is like, the, the shape of the meat, and then I guess maybe the blanket on the baby. No, you know what? The the outside edge is like the, the outside of the meat. And then something about this bird. It's a pink Twitter logo. I think, yeah, okay, there you go. <laughs> this, is, this is great. I like these three-piece puzzles. I feel like they're really testing me. Oh, we got a special level. All right, bring it on. The game wants me to create Saturn. I think this is pretty straightforward. We just, we take the lollipop and then we got the rings from the hat. Is that it? That's it. That one was super easy. I don't know what made it so special. I guess because I had to watch it and <laughs> to play it. We got another special level that I actually like skipped earlier. I need to make a torch. Okay, so you got fire. And then maybe the, the cone on the... No, 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 this part of the ice cream. Okay. Still not quite right. What am I missing? Maybe this, this part? Like, put this? Yeah, yeah, there you go. All right. Awesome. Let's make a bucket. I'll take the cup. And then the, the pop of the, the headphones. That's, that's easy. Waffle time. Are we gonna make this waffle out of a sponge? That seems just disgusting. But that is what is happening. And then we take the checkers from here. Is that it? That's it. Would I eat it? Probably, just gotta put enough syrup on there. Plus on the bright side, the sponge will soak up all that goodness. A microphone, interesting. Um, I guess we take like the handle of the flashlight and then the, the this is, I get, okay, yeah, that's a microphone. That is a microphone. I mean, it looks like a microphone. I don't know if, I don't know if it's like exactly what I think about when I think of a microphone, but there it is. A typewriter. You gotta have the little keyboard section. Oh, like, look at this thing. It's supposed to be a phone, but it looks just like a typewriter. And then you got the piece of paper coming out of the top. That's awesome. Clickety clackety. Create a pear out of a chick. This poor chick is about to lose its body because it's shaped like a pear. And then, um, oh, you got the twig. Yeah, there you go. And then we just turn this upside down. Put that on the top. Come on, grab it. There you go. Yeah. Is that not right? Oh, maybe, maybe because I did, it needs to stay like that. What? Okay, what about this pear is incorrect? What have I done wrong? Oh, wait, wait, it liked when I had the, the stem like this? It coming out the side? What? It, it I got a green check mark. What? Okay, so uh, the rotation on the stem wasn't perfect. Sorry. That was definitely the most cumbersome level that we played. I wouldn't call it hard, but it was very picky. Backboard. Like something you, you put like thumbtacks on to like put up pieces of paper and stuff, I guess? Oh no, like a basketball backboard. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh, that's how my brain works. Not very well. A lollipop. Okay, you take the crazy guy's eyeball and then you take the, the stem or the straw. <sighs> I'm okay, really, just a little broken. Oh man, I gotta make a fox? I mean, clearly whatever this thing is, looks like a fox face. And then you got the ears. Yes. But then, like, how do we do the, the mouth? Maybe, okay, th no, these are eyes. See if I rotate them like that, there's your fox, aha, ah. I feel good about that one. Sailboat. I see the sail. 
That is step one. The boat part is the bottom half of the iron. And then you just turn that thing upside down. There you go. Okay, easy. Let's create a laptop. It's like the pan, for some reason, the pan has USB ports on it. That's weird. And then take the screen from a television from 30 years ago. And you have a perfectly workable laptop. That's right. You can build your own laptop right now. Just chop the handle off of a kitchen pan and glue it to a 30-year-old television screen. Just the screen part of the television, though. It'll work great. Let's make a key. Why does this sword have little notches cut out of it just like a key? <laughs> this is interesting, though. I guess this cherry is the, is the top of the key. Yeah, there you go. Table tennis paddle. It's very specific. Okay, the sun in this picture is the, is the top. And then we need a handle, which I assume comes from the trumpet here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. You, and then you rotate that like that. And there you go. You put the two halves together and there you go. You're playing some ping pong. Sorry, table tennis. Ice skates. What? Nothing here looks like a shoe. Well, I guess maybe the heart, if you if you rotate it, that kind of looks like a shoe. And then this thing, whatever this is, definitely looks like a skate. So if I put that on the bottom of that, it's getting there. Then I feel like we're we're missing something here. Oh gosh. Um. Oh, you know what? Maybe if we put this brown part at the bottom. At the top? Yeah! <laughs> that one was pretty tricky. I feel good about it, though. We got through it. A fried egg. You take a cloud, you take a happy face, and boom, there you go. You're eating breakfast, and it's delicious. Pencil, huh? Okay. <laughs> How do you turn a cake into a pencil? Obviously, this is the... the tip of the pencil, but where's the, the rest of it? Is it this? It is. And then we just rotate that, and there you go. Clever. That was really clever. Earth. Okay, obviously you need continents, and then a circle. Circle? I've made Earth. That's it. Earth is a bottle cap and, and a cutout of a map. It's that simple. Watermelon. Okay, this right here is the the main part of the watermelon, and then you need the rind outside, which is right here. And then we just rotate that, put them together, and you got yourself a delicious treat. You ever sprinkle salt on watermelon? People say it's, like, incredible. I've never actually tried it, now that I think about it. I guess it's supposed to make the watermelon taste sweeter. I don't know how that works. A ladybug. Um, this looks like kind of the, the shell of a ladybug, and then you need spots. Okay. And then you need a head, which I think is the this part of the UFO. But something ain't right about it. Okay, that, that worked. I felt like I was on the right track. Turns out, I was. A dress. Okay, the bottom part of the dress is the umbrella. And then the top part of the dress is this, maybe? Like that? No, 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 no. No, you go like that because you got like the, the shoulder straps. There you go. Yeah. I knew what I was doing. Sort of. Headphones. Okay. Handle of the purse. And then you got dumbbells, which are your your earphone part. The, the, the actual part that the sound comes out of. I don't know what they're called. Those are probably some very heavy headphones, though because they're literally made out of weights. Let's make an umbrella. There you go. And then you take the hook. Uh-huh. Easy. Easy. I've done 48 of these. There's still over 300. Sheesh. Let's make a shell. Um, it's not gonna require your face. Although, I gotta say, look at this dude's hair. That's some serious hair. Although, or is that a helmet? I don't know. I like the idea of, of that actually being his hair. I think this part of the... Wait, no, maybe like that? Oh, yeah, okay. It still kind of doesn't look like a shell to me. I still only see that dude's amazing hair. A tie. Okay, you make it out of the blade of a, of a sword, which seems real dangerous. And then we just need this part. Yeah. Just put those two together. I 
gotta rotate it. There you go. Easy. Just be careful where you swing that thing. Might chop someone's fingers off just walking down the hallway of your office building. <laughs> a washing machine? I see, like, this seems very washing machine-esque. And then the lens of the camera is the opening. There, yeah, there you go. It kind of looks like an eyeball, though. It's freaking me out. What are you looking at? This is definitely one of those games that makes me feel smarter because it's really not that hard. But it's fun. I'm having a good time. And look at this. I got myself a punching bag now. See, I'm a genius. Or at least the game's making me feel like one. Thank you, game.